Today marks three weeks until the midterm elections, and tonight Governor Tim Walz and Republican challenger Dr. Scott Jensen will square off in their second of three debates before we head to the polls. So our Pauline Lee live at the Capitol this morning, breaking down who's leading in the polls and who is leading in campaign finances. Hi, Pauline. Hey, good morning, Heather. Yeah, crucial spending in these final three weeks. Both candidates spending some big bucks just to try and gain your support. So tonight's new, or let's talk about the new campaign finance reports. Uh, it shows Walls has a $3.2 million cash on hand. That's through the mid-September uh, month time frame and has raised more than $4.2 million since the beginning of the year. Now, Jensen has about 864000 available to spend as of the latest filing, and he's brought in more than $3 million since January. But that includes also a public subsidy payment totaling more than $580,000. Now, both candidates, they spent tens of thousands of dollars trying to reach you through texting, direct mail, digital ads, TV ads, which are very expensive. This comes as the latest poll numbers. They show the governor still leading in the race. The new mini poll survey shows Walls ahead of Jensen 47 to 42 percent. Now, this could also be a big reason as to why we've seen less debates this election season. You remember Jensen early on saying that he wanted to debate every two weeks, but the two have only been able to agree on three debates this season. Now, governor Tim Walls, he's not the first incumbent governor to agree to less debates in his reelection bid in history, and he won't be the last. Now, one big reason. His name is already on the door in the Capitol, right? So his decisions in office could be seen as part of his election campaign. Plus, as we've seen, he's got the money for it. So why not schedule your own solo events, get your message out there without risking being attacked by your opponent directly mm -hmm. in a debate. But tonight, there will be a debate, 7 o'clock in Rochester, to uh, the second debate of three, and it's going to be one to watch. All right. Very closely watched, and we know the closely watched race as well. Pauline, thank you.